Hi everyone. Today is February 3rd. I worked all day for the Super Bowl Sunday, 2019 Super Bowl, the 53rd one. I listened to it when it came on the radio from beginning to end. I chose to work today and not hang around and watch the game or do whatever because I thought it was going to be a great day and not so much. I just came, well, I've been home for a little while, but I just watched a video that paid to drive Pete. I'll put the link in the description below and I laughed because it happened to me. Let me tell you why I say today was a bust. I really thought it was going to be a great day. It was a beautiful day out. I figured not many people would be out there. I was working three apps. That's a very important to tell you that I was working three apps. I left my house at 1030 and I went to the location where I was there five minutes and I got my first order. And I parked my car at 1030. And I brought lunch. I treated it like I was going to my job. Brought lunch, brought bottles of water, a cup of coffee. I started the day and I stayed and I did it. Thank God for texting and a few touching base with people because driving all day is a very lonely gig. But for me, it's the last time I'm doing it all day. And I did it because I thought it was going to be a great day. I drove 146 miles, 146.2, which really isn't bad, considering I left the house at 10.30, and I pulled up at 10.30. That's 12 hours. That's a long time. I took a couple of breaks. I had a couple of lulls. Took a couple of breaks. I just focused on delivering. I really expected to do a lot better. I made $158.60. That's really bad. Now, I remember doing it twice all day. And I had, one was over 300 and one was just 300. I was pretty new to it. It was tough. Um, I came home. I was excited. I, I just focused. I was, I was thinking of a lot of things coming up. I just couldn't believe that's all I made. I was really shocked. And that include, includes a $3 cash tip. And one person gave me a $6 tip on the Uber Eats app. I worked Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. And... I am so disappointed. Now, the video to pay to drive that he speaks about what went down today. Good thing I was really close. I, I, I was there within five minutes. I stroll up to um, Buffalo Wild Wings and I walk in with the red bag and I go to the takeout area and I wait in line. And within 30 seconds, a, a very nice gentleman that works there came up. And he goes, we're not accepting any DoorDash orders. And I said, well, I'm really Grubhub. And he goes, not nothing. Tablets are off. We, we can't. It, it's, it's too much in demand. They could not keep up with the orders. So I, he was really nice to me. I was really nice to him. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I wasn't aware. He goes, well, we told them. They should have never sent you here. And that's what he said. We told them. So, good thing I was only around the corner, and by the time I walked to my car, and I was already speaking with them, they were, they were already ringing me with another order to checkers around the corner. So, that was kind of a bust, because I was in a location where there's a Buffalo Wild Wings, and there's a, um, another, another wing place. It's Buffalo Wings, I guess it's called. And I was right in the middle all day. I was right there. And I couldn't believe I only had one order 
from both of them. And when I walked in, they said, "We're not. We can't. We can't service the orders. We can't do it." So that was a bust. Um, I didn't take any Grubhub blocks, and I turned down four orders. Now, pay to, pay to drive, Pete. In one of his other videos, he stated that Grubhub was sending out texts saying that no one will receive an order less than $8 in certain markets. They didn't send that to me. I turned down two $4, a $4.80, a $4.60. They actually sent me a $4.15 order, and it was like... <laughs> I was already four towns away. I was like, what are they out of their mind? <coughs> so I rejected. And a five dollar order. And every time I rejected, they sent me a better order with a shorter distance. What else is there to tell you? That's it. I'll put his link below because I, I found that very interesting. I worked Friday night. I did a few deliveries early in the day. And then I realized my headlight was out. So I went down the street and the very nice mechanic couldn't get the bulb out, had to take off my front end, everything, done in an hour and 20 minutes. So that got me off track. But I came home, I chilled out, I did a few things. I went back out at 6.45, and I was home at 11.15, and I made $128.48, $120.48. And today I worked 12 hours, and I made $158.60 with a 20 minute lull in the middle and a 10 minute here, 10 minute there, and I was working three apps. Imagine how little I would have made if I had accepted those low ball offers. That shouldn't even be offered, it's an insult. It's insulting. So Grubhub did not, was not aware of the Buffalo Wild Wing in Westbury, Long Island, New York, they weren't aware that they, they shut down their tablets. All of them. Place was mobbed when I walked in. So I wasn't going to do a video, and I sat down, and before I get cozy for the night, I said, let me see what's going on in the industry, and I turned on Pete. And I went, oh, that happened to me. So I figured I should give him a shout out and share the link in the description below. See you soon, folks. Bye-bye.